Hi everyone! I'm here to do a really quick review video. Apparently I didn't do one. I've been getting messages asking about it. So I just want to review some of the products I use from Sensational Soaps. And they are all amazing. They're 100% natural soaps. And they leave your skin feeling really, really soft and silky and smooth. They have no sulfates, no parabens, no animal testing. They're great soaps. Now, I'm just going to go through them real fast. My camera's dying. Um, her soap. These are her goat milk soaps. I love them. They're like thick, rich cream on your skin. One of my favorite soaps that I've ever tried anywhere. Um, Sarah, your soaps are amazing. I will always purchase these, but I'm still not using them. Um, I'm not done using them. I mean, I'm sorry. Um, another one that I totally love that I'm done with is her honey soap. And I wish I could show it to you. But if you have a chance to try one of her soaps, I would say her honey soap is one of the best soaps that I've used. It's so good on your skin. Um, my skin was just really dry and I was even using it on my face. And her honey soap is amazing. And the scent is to die for. I don't have that, but her honey soap is absolutely my favorite soap that she has. My second favorites are the goat milk soaps, but her honey is amazing. This is her propolis soap. And it's for skin problems. I hope I said that right. Rash herpes, um, dermatitis, I mean anything on your skin. My husband only uses this soap. This was the second one she gave me for Lorena, but we're actually sharing it and it's lasting for such a long time. I can't believe that. He only uses this on his face, that with African black soap, but he's just switched to this and on his hands and it's made the biggest difference in his skin. I use this on my face. This is part of my face routine and I will, won't use anything else. I love this soap. Um, it, it, it's just amazing. It's one of those soaps that I would say everybody really should have. If your baby has rash or anything, you really should have this. It's medicinal as well as just a regular soap, propolis soap, and it's awesome. So, um, and her um, sugar scrub, I really love the sugar scrub. The way the sugar scrub is, if you could see, it has the really big granules of sugar in it. It's not the really small ones. I'm trying to see if I could get, my lighting in here sucks. But see, and it's just the sugars, the large ones with the oil. And I love this because it really, really exfoliates. And this is in the um, oatmeal, milk, and honey scent. And it's a Lover Rub Rub um, Sugar Body Scrub. This is one of the best sugar scrubs I've ever used. Now, what you need to know about this is the sugar does not dissolve. So when you put it on, it's kind of loose and you just kind of, it's going to fall all over the tub and everything. And I've heard a lot of people say they don't like sugar like that because they feel it's wasteful. I just grab it, put it on my other leg, put it on my body. But this gives me some of the most amazing exfoliation and it leaves my skin so, so soft. And as you can see, I've already used a lot of this. I mean, I love it that much. It is just a gorgeous sugar body scrub. Uh, this is one of my favorite scrubs. Um, I wasn't really using scrub a lot, and I started using this one, and I got to say, I'm just really hooked on this. So her scrubs are amazing. Um, another thing really fast is her um, whipped soap. Now, this one's um, more than halfway gone, as you can see, because this is my husband's pomegranate. That's like the best scent ever. It's so sweet. This is awesome for shaving your legs. We use this as regular soap. I use that and then I use this after. But this is amazing. And I had someone say to review this. And the way I would review this is this is so moisturizing to your skin. You can put it on a loofah. A tiny, tiny bit goes a very long way. And I am talking a tiny bit. I barely dab it in there and use it. As you can see, I used it for shaving a little while ago. And I dab my fingers in there. I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> But anyways, it's just really, really nice. Really moisturizing. It's almost like a, bo a body polish because it leaves your skin really shiny and soft. And um, I had never really used very many of these. I wasn't really too happy about using the whip soaps. But I got to say, um, Sarah soap, the whip soap is just awesome. I definitely am going to buy a lot more. I have the pumpkin one and we have this one. This one is... Mm, we just really love this and um, we can't get enough of this. I use this and my little girl don't feel good. I actually just rubbed her down, you know, in a, with this and she felt really, she goes, Mama, it just smells so good. It made me feel good. Um, I use it for shaving my legs, you know, for body wash. I even use this on my hair and it, and it worked. It was really nice. My hair was so clean and shiny. It doesn't give you that squeaky clean feeling. It makes you feel really super soft, which I found with some of the other ones gave you that squeaky clean feeling. Sarah's do not awesome. And the other thing she has is she has body butters, 
but I like her lotions and she has a new formula of her lotions as she's done now because they used to be a lot more watery which I personally liked because I found they were really silky and I have um, her pumpkin pie spice which is this one and this one is I want to show you the consistency of it if you can see move this out of the way um, if you can see it's kind of watery but it goes on so smooth. Now these, this is her honey one. This is her new formula. This isn't as watery. It's a lot, it's even harder to get out. It's a lot thicker. I just want to show you the difference of the creams, the lotions. Oh, I love these. Oh man, those are awesome together. I'll start mixing and matching there, baby. Okay, now these are, um, I have a lot of other body butters and stuff that I like, but I really do love Sarah's lotions. They are amazing. This one, like I said, is in pumpkin spice. This stuff is like freaking silk. I kid you not. The scent on this, very spicy. It's like the spices you would use in pumpkin. Really cinnamony, and it's awesome. This is, I believe, two ounces. I've had this for a while now. And there's a lot left because a little bit goes a long way. I also have it in honey. This is just like the soap. This is one of my absolute favorite scents in the whole wide world, her honey scent. Oh my God, I cannot get enough of this. This is great. And then I also have it in oatmeal milk and honey, which is another one that's amazing. I love this stuff. Um, I took this. I don't know if you can see how much I used. I took this with me when I went to um, Honors Chorus. And I had the perfume roller that she sells, the oil. And I just use this every day for everything and then I actually match these two together and I, I mix and match everything but these are my three favorite scents that she does they are so good um just really yummy and fresh this one's really fresh and clean not too sweet so if you want something with a, a more mallow scent I do the oatmeal milk and honey because it's not quite as strong as these two right here but I mean the three of these are just to die for they're absolutely gorgeous so her lotions I would definitely recommend because they're very silky very smooth and they feel so good on your skin and the scent actually stays on your skin my skin nothing stays on it you know how it is this stays on my skin absolutely no problem hands down it's on my skin like right now oh my god it smells so good and what I love about the honey is it it smells like honey, but it, it also has like an orange citrusy scent to go with it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, mm, it's a beautiful scent. I absolutely love it. So I've tried a lot of her glycerin soaps and I tried a lot of her other stuff. I do like them. I'm not saying I don't, but it's just that um, her goat milk soaps are the most moisturizing. And she has them in a lot of different scents. And these usually have lines going down them. And those are the ones, I always call them line soap. Those are the ones that I really, really love and I recommend more than anything. I wish I had my honey soap to show you. The honey soap is my favorite soap that she has. So, you know, when you go on there, give her a try. Um, it's amazing. And here's her website right here. Let me see. W oh, there we go. Why is it so blurry? I'm looking at this. There you go. All right, then. I hope you like this review. Uh, I'm tired. I'm going to go. Bye.